You asked for it. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back, guys. Seldom does a week go by that I don't get an email or multiple emails asking me about the setup behind me. So today, we're going to take a few minutes and show you how I run the shack. Let's go ahead and jump to another camera and get going. All right, so you'll have to pardon the glare and the little bit of camera shake. I am doing this handheld, but I just wanted to be able to move around and show you guys exactly what's going on. This here is my primary computer that I use both here in the shack and the primary one that I take into the field with me. Sitting just to the left of that is going to be the ICOM 705 in an Armalock cage. Uh, so when I take off to go into the field, this entire setup goes with me. That's why you see the mess of wires laying here on the desk. I want to be able to connect it and disconnect it quickly. Behind that, you will see a power meter letting me know how much power I'm getting out. And then right back there, let's see, right there, is an antenna splitter. That's for the HF antenna so that I can use it either with the 705 or with the 857 that I'm going to show you guys here in just a second. Notice I didn't even clean up the desk for this. This is exactly how my ham shack desk typically looks. Now up above that what you will see is my primary monitor. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and I'll show you exactly what all I have running on this system. Now we will only be able to see one screen here. What we're looking at is the external monitor and this is the one that I use as the primary here in the shack. I do run five different Linux desktops inside of Linux Mint so that I can have everything kind of subdivided out. On the primary screen here you will find either JSA call or more than likely FL Digi running on two meters with the 705. I do have JS8 call open by request of a patron that was in Louisiana when that uh, hurricane came through a couple of days ago and he wanted to be able to utilize my station as a relay. So in this particular case, I'm still running JSA call, but normally I'm running FL Digi on this screen over a local two meter repeater for the little local group that we've been working on this year. Sliding over to desktop two, you're going to find Yak. Now this is connected via Bluetooth to the D75 and I'll show you guys that here in just a minute. But this allows me to run Yak and keep up with things that are going on over APRS in my local area. It's actually uh, pretty dead this morning on APRS. Now we'll slide over. Oh, you'll also notice down here in the bottom corner, let's move that up for you. I've got the D75 Connect script that I wrote uh, running down here. So if I want to close all of this, I would just click kill the connection right here. Uh, that script is over on GitHub. If anyone else is running a D75, it'll help get you going with Bluetooth on the D74 or D75. Now on screen three or desktop three here, this is where my station is usually sitting. My day job is weather dependent and this allows me to keep up with all of the weather going on in my area. So you'll see a national forecast map or a national radar image up here in the top left. You'll see local radar right here beside it. We've got the forecast. And then I also like to use this drought monitor, uh, especially this time of year. You can see we're pretty red down here in the southeast. Hopefully that hurricane that's moving through or the remnants of that hurricane is going to help out with some of these drought conditions. Also have satellites. I've got lightning maps. I've got a local traffic camera right here. I've got the maximum usable frequency map down here in the bottom left. I do have a capture of APRS. That's the YAC map that you saw on the other screen. I also bring it over to this screen so that I can just double click and see exactly what's going on in the area. I believe this is 10 meter propagation and then we've got some solar weather over here in the bottom right hand corner. Now, screens four and five are both blank. Uh, so I use those in case I need to open some other application, but that's kind of the way I set up my computer for running on a day-to-day -day basis. 
Okay, so there's a look at the way I'm running this system. And all of this is my primary system. You can actually see FL Rig was running down here on the laptop screen instead of on that primary screen. It just kind of keeps it out of the way. Let's go ahead and move over to the right a little bit now. This here is my Winlink gateway. So it's running on a Yaesu 2980 and I'm using a Signalink. Why am I using the Signalink per se? Well, I had a couple of those left over after I changed to the Digi Rigs. There was no good reason to let them go to waste, so I did end up utilizing both of those. Right beside that is the Yezu 857. I do use this occasionally for voice uh, on HF when the 705 just doesn't have enough punch to it uh, with that 10 watts. We just got some random junk over here. I've got some 18650 batteries here, a Raspberry Pi, I believe that's a four that I use for testing. There's another Raspberry Pi sitting back there in the corner. On top of that's a Pi Zero. I'm using that for a little private email server. And then we've got some USB chargers over there as well. Now, jumping up to the next shelf, you'll see a couple of dummy loads. And then the Raspberry Pi uh, that we built on the channel several years ago. That was the one that was labeled the Ultimate Shack Pie. It is still running right back there. Whoop, I got it out of focus. It's still running right back there to this day and still doing its thing. Right here, we'll find uh, some extra laptops. So this is my old one that's still running uh, Linux Mint 21.2 or .3, I can't remember which but I'm going to keep this one as a backup. I have upgraded my main system to Mint 22. Should something uh, go a little haywire with that, I do always have a backup laptop. This is a, another testing laptop that I've got right here. Uh, I've got some, I believe that's a Android Fire tablet that I've got up here for some testing and then an SDR up top. Right beside that, you're going to find another 2980. Now, this one is the APRS DigiPeter. So, uh, the 2980 is sitting here. The Signalink is what I'm using for a sound card with that one, and then a really old Raspberry Pi 3 sitting right up there on top. This thing has been doing a great job for multiple years now, and one of these days I might upgrade it, but as long as it's working, we're going to let it just sit there and do its job. Right beside that is a GMRS repeater. Now, something I didn't mention, right behind this shelf, you have to reach over or around it, you can actually select which input uh, the, or which radio is going to get to use that antenna. Primarily, it is always on uh, radio 3, which you can see I've got labeled right here, which is the APRS uh, DigiPeter. But if I need a quick GMRS repeater, I can just flip that antenna switch that's back there, and I'd need to power up the GMRS repeater. In addition to that, uh, on that same 2-meter antenna is the 857. It just doesn't quite fit up here on the shelf at this particular moment. A couple of old HTs back there uh, in the back that I don't use very often, and then the power supply that drives it all. I'm trying to stay away from that uh, power cable that's running up to the next shelf. Uh, in addition to the power supply, we've got some manuals over here, quick reference manuals, so the nifty guides. These are super handy to have, so several of them are sitting up here on the desk along with uh, this other reference manual that I got. Now, let's go ahead and jump up to the top shelf. And what you're going to find is another radar display. This is a Pi weather display that we built uh, on the channel uh, probably two, maybe three years ago now. That's probably going to go away in the very near future. I have another idea uh, instead of using this Pi Weather display to make this a little bit cleaner up here on top. Right beside that, you're going to find the D75 that is connected to that uh, external power cable that runs back down here. That was supposed to be temporary, and well, we all know how that temporary wiring goes. Seems like it takes another uh, year before we actually decide to clean that up. All right, above that, or I'm sorry, to the right of that, we've got uh, all of the HTs that I typically uh, will grab. Now, I will say the favorites right now are the D75 and the VX6, but there's a Redivus right there. 
There's a Yezu FT60 in the back, an FT5, an FT70, and then a recent acquisition was the FT2. Uh, so depending on what I got going that day is going to dictate which of those HTs I carry. Now to the right of that, we've got Ham Clock running. It's doing an update right now, so that should happen in just a second here. I do like having Ham Clock, but again, I think I'm going to drop this display. I'm actually looking to put a 32-inch display up here on this top shelf and running my main dashboard, replacing both Ham Clock and that... Uh, Pi weather station that you saw just a second ago. Of course, my granddaughter's favorite thing is the little pig here that is also a lighter. Don't know why, but she loves to come up here and watch me uh, make him blow fire out of his nose. Right beside that, we've got a gift that my granddaughter gave me one time for Father's Day. It sits up here and just houses some Skittles that me and her enjoy when she's here. And last but not least is just a photograph of my granddaughter. So there you have it guys. There's a look at what's always running behind me in these videos. It really just depends on what I'm going to be doing that particular day, whether I'm going to be running HF and JSA call or whether I'm going to be running FL Digi over a local two meter repeater. The APRS station is almost always running. Now I could tie the station over here to the Digipeter over the network. I just prefer to run that over RF instead of running that uh, across the network. Uh, I, I don't know why. I just happen to like that solution a little bit better, and it lets me feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of that D75. All right, if you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.